Hi everyone, Sonia here, and you're watching Pouring with Sonia, and I'm just going to mix up some paint. This is just some paint I'm going to mix up in little four ounce bottles. Um, I use this for some Dutch pours I blow by mouth, acrylic flip cups, your ba straight pours, your basic ones. But if I'm going to do like um, a ring pour, I'm going to make a thicker mix. If I'm going to do a swipe, the swipe color is going to be a thinner mix. The swipe color needs to be thinner than the other colors you put down. So this is a good all-purpose mix for a lot of your techniques, um, but you might want to tweak it for some of your other um, different different styles. So anyways, what I'm going to do is two parts Floetrol, one part paint, and one part of water. And that is with a Liquitex or an Arteza, kind of a nicer mid-grade paint, but not, I would not add that much water at all for something that's like a flow acrylic. No way, you don't need that much water. A student grade, like a Blitcrylics, I wouldn't add that much water, or like a craft paint, um, because they're thinner to begin with. But these are a little thicker, so nice. But they're not as thick as the heavy body acrylics. And so, anyways, I buy some pretty basic paints. All right, so I've got my scale set to zero. And for my Floetrol, it's just U.S. Floetrol. And I pour it in a little container and put a little stocking, a little piece of pantyhose over it. Because sometimes you get clumps in this and you don't want that in your paint and that filters out the clumps. So it kind of makes it easy. So I'm just going to put two ounces of my Floetrol in here. My scale is really scratched up. The face where I read the digital numbers. So otherwise I'd have you up closer. But I mean, I think you can trust me. That's two ounces. <laughs> no, I'm going to mix up some turquoise blue by Liquitex. And um, I'm just going to put one ounce of that in. Oops, let me take this off here. So one ounce here. And I'm an accountant. I like measurements. I like precision. A lot of people just like to eyeball and go by touch or feel. And you can do that if you're mixing it up individually, like in a cup, and you can feel when you're stirring it. But if you're going to mix up some kind of big containers, you need to have some kind of, because you're not, unless you're mixing it in a cup and then pouring it in the container, which I am not doing. So that's up to three. And now I'm going to put, I might just do like a quarter of an ounce. I mean, three quarters of the water. So that's three quarters. And that's it. I'm now just going to put my lid on. Oh, I should, you know what I normally do is I mix the paint and the Floetrol first before I add the water, but I got busy talking to you. So normally I mix the paint and Floetrol first and get that all combined. And then I add the water. I think it just comes together easier then, but here we are. I didn't do that. <laughs> so you want to get it nice and mixed up, really well incorporated. And then I'm just going to show you kind of what it looks like. I'm going to open this up here. And I'm going to have some stuff stuck in the, kind of flow trolley stuff stuck in the in the very beginning parts of that. So I pour a little bit out before I use it because the very beginning from shaking it up is going to have Floetrol stuck in there. So when you go to pour it out, it's going to be Floetrol and then your paint will come. So I pour a little bit out and I got rid of the Floetrol. And here's my consistency then. So it's perfect. It barely leaves a mount and then disappears. Um, you want it to leave a little bit of a trace, but not much for the basic pores. Be pretty fluid. Um, ring pores, I would want much thicker. I probably wouldn't add any water. I would just do the Floetrol to paint. And um, swipes, the color you're going to swipe over, I would thin out even more. Uh, the color that you swipe over the top. But that's your basic. Um, oh, let me see if I can bring you down a little bit closer, actually. And 
kind of pour this out. Let's see. So I just kind of want you to be able to see here. Focus on this right here. Focus. He doesn't like that ring light. Okay, let me see if I can show you just a little bit. See how it just leaves a little bit and then drops down. That's all I want for my basic, basic flip cups. Um, you could even go a little bit thicker, but you have a little bit harder time getting your um, cells to pop through if it's too thick. If it's too thin, then you get tons of cells as soon as you flip it before any heat. So when you find the right balance, that's kind of what to stick with. So this was two parts Floetrol, one part paint, so two ounces, one ounce, and then three-fourths of an ounce of water. So not quite a whole full and uh, that was a Liquitex Basic Turquoise. And so I hope you find this useful. Just a little mixing guide for beginners. And my ratio um, after I do this, if I'm going to use silicone, I would pour it into a cup and then um, add one, one drop of silicone per one ounce of paint is a pretty good rule of thumb. And then some people will still, you can even just layer your cup and put like an ounce in and then put one drop of silicone and then put another ounce of paint in and then put one drop of silicone and do it that way. But you never want to put silicone on top as your final layer. If you do it that way, you want to make sure you got paint on the top um, because you don't want that silicone to hit your canvas first. So I hope those little tricks have helped you and you've enjoyed this little mixing tutorial. And until we meet again, have fun painting everyone.